Hey YouTube, Desert Knife Guru here and we're going to do a knife review and this knife is coming in a box here in this black box with the white letters it says for those who serve for professional use and it is model 2903 folding hisatsu made by Columbia River Knife and Tool There it is. It is a modified Tonto style blade. It is a uh, James Williams is the designer on this one. Um, it has a Teflon coated black blade. Uh, it's on the one side it says CRKT with their logo. And on this side it says Hisatsu folder and the model number 2903 and it has some Japanese writing and I'm assuming that means Hisatsu but uh, it's a really nice uh, assisted opening knife it has a plastic handle um, it does not have any jimping on the top but it has a really good feel to it it really uh, when you grab hold of it it really locks in it has a pocket clip which is either for uh, tip up right hand or tip up left hand carry. This particular one has a um, a uh, locking system. This is the LOX locking system. It is um, L A W K S. It has a spring release here and also a liner lock and you have to push down on the spring and push over the liner lock to release the blade it is very very fast very very fast um, it has nasty nasty tip on it I mean this tip as you can see it's went in the wood with any not much of effort whatsoever um, this knife is on loan from a friend of mine um, he asked me to do a review on it um, some of the specs on this particular one is blade length is a little over three and three quarter inches long. The thickness is a pretty stout thickness. It's 3.8 millimeter. The steel on the blade is an AUS 8 or an OS 8. Um, the handle length is five inches. The overall length is eight and three quarter inches. The weight for a folder is a little stout for a folder, uh, a little stout for an uh, EDC blade. Um, size is right, but the weight is a little off. It's 5.8 inches. Um, it really has um, a really good feel to it. The, the locking system takes a little bit to get used to, because if you have the... Um, regular liner lock you're uh, pretty easy pretty easy for you to uh, open it one-handed but uh, when you get the two there you gotta you gotta practice it without closing it down on your thumb but uh, it has a really good feel to it um, you can see the um, torsion bar in there if you can see it or not it's closed let me open it up you can see it torsion bar in there uh, really kicks the blade open. It does have um, dual thumb stud. Kind of shares the uh, top of the blade. And I think that's uh, typical for this design. The, um, I think purpose, I mean, it, it, I think it would be a pretty good slashing blade. But um, I think if you want to stab something, I think that would really do the trick. Um, the handle, it's really good. It's pretty stout. The um, feel overall is uh, pretty decent. The uh, retail price of this one is um, $99.99, $100. Bucks. Um, this particular one comes in um, the assisted, and it also comes as a manual or a non assisted opening. The model number for that one is 2903Q. 
Um, retail price on both of these are the same, $99.99. Um, but you can find them online. A little harder to find now. Not everybody's carrying them. But you can find them online for, I would say, 50 bucks, $55, something like that. Uh, if you search around. Um, I guess it was pretty popular a while back. It's not as popular, but uh, it's it's a decent knife. Um, I like to think the um, uh, steel could be a little bit better, but uh, I guess Voss 8, it's decent. Um, I said earlier the handle's plastic. It's not plastic. I, made, I don't know why I said that, but it's a uh, Zytel handle. Which I guess is a type of plastic, but I wanted to give the right right info on this. Um, so that's my review, and I hope everything was uh, satisfactory. But if you have any questions, let me know, and I will talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.